Another one, Tanjiro? Are you sure it's not my name written on it? It's not in your desk. Why would it be for you? Maybe by mistake. She could have been too shy to ask which desk is mine, and is desperately reaching out, hoping her letters of love would find me. You're delusional. Things like this happen all the time. That's why there are so many different love stories written in books and movies. Every romance is different. And equally special. If some girl hinted she liked you, you'd have chased her down right away. She wouldn't have the chance to pass you notes like this. That's true. I do pride myself in my forthright courtship methods. That's one way of putting it, I suppose. Whatever. I'm tired of waiting. What's it say? It says, A light is my path from your inner fire. Embers in your eyes, your hair, your heart, and now mine. It's in your face now too, Gompachiro. Really? Ah, uh, I can't help it. The words are so touching. I can't help but blush when I read them. Keep going. And now mine. I am but a moth to your flame. Drawn nearer to your unwavering warmth. Shall we bridge this precipice? Or shall I burn? The night sky will be brighter for it either way, my love. Oh, hey! She signed it this time! Who's Ignited? I don't recognize that name. It says, Sincerely the Ignited. Oh. Moron. But oh, what a sweet lover she is! I'd give anything to be in your place. My heart is beating really fast. It's so romantic. I hate you so much right now. This is the third one. And I still have no idea who it could be from. I really wish I could reach out to the person who wrote this. But how can I do that if I don't know who they are? Good question. Ah, uh, uh, I have an idea. What are we doing here? Well, whenever I encountered something that I didn't understand before, the library always had the answer. You think you're gonna find the answer to your secret admirer dilemma in a library book? You're clueless. But where else would I find it? Why don't you just ask me? Do you know a lot about these things, Zenitsu? Of course. I've read everything I can get my hands on when it comes to romance. A woman's heart is a deep ocean of secrets. Was that from that boat movie where everyone dies? You mean Titanic? Yeah, I'm surprised you caught that, honestly. I'm used to you saying things from something else and claiming it as yours. <laughs> Lots of people quote literary works to court ladies. It's a common practice. Haven't you ever heard of Sonnet 18 by Shakespeare? No. Figures. So you really don't think the answer will be in here, huh? I highly doubt it. Then, what would you all do in my situation? I'd do something really grand to get her attention. Something she couldn't ignore. That's right. If I wanted to write something nice back to her, I'd have to make sure to broadcast it so the whole school would see it. In case she's not in our class. I assume she is. Uh, what makes you say that? She knew which desk was yours from the start. Inosuke and I know you best, but nobody asked us which desk was yours. Which indicates she knew that already. Also, she didn't write your name on them, which confirms she knew for sure that it wouldn't be seen by the wrong person. That's... really intuitive, Zenitsu! You're right! I should have asked you first! Yeah, I told you that. So, what would you do if you were me? The smart thing. I'd sneak around until I found out who she is. And caught her in the act. Then, out of the blue to surprise her, I'd confess my love and embrace her under the cherry blossoms. They're blooming early, a sign that the heavens are shining favorably on love this year. Sneaking around? Admittedly, I do want to find out who she is really badly. But spying on her when she's just trying to write sweet things to me. 
That feels wrong. If she's keeping her identity a secret from me, maybe she has a reason. Maybe she's not ready to tell me. That's a coward's way of looking at it. You need to be aggressive. Hunt down your love and keep her. How's that working for you? It's a work in progress. Thank you for both of your inputs, but I need some time to think this through. All right, I understand. Let's go, Inosuke. Okay. So, you want to go find some food? No time for that. Our friend is drowning in a sea of love. No idea how to navigate its treacherous waves. Poetic, Monitsu. Thank you. I'm feeling inspired today. Anyway, we need to take matters into our own hands and find out who's writing him letters. Didn't he tell us not to? That's exactly why we have to! Why do you care so much? I just want the best for our dear friend. We're like brothers. No, that's not it. That doesn't sound right. Ugh. Also, if Tanjiro doesn't like her, I can be there to heal her broken heart. Ah, so you'd settle for a rebound. Pretty sleazy, Monitsu. It's not like that! I'm just covering the bases! And I- Shh! Someone's coming! Get down! Oh, hey, Tanjiro. I thought I saw you come in here. It's Traveler John. It's her. What makes you say that? I don't know. She's a girl. I can just feel it. Why don't you leave the investigating to me? Hey, Traveler. Your studies going okay? Yeah. Yesterday's test went really well for me. If I may toot my own horn. How about you? Is everything okay? You look a little down. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say I'm sad or anything. Just... puzzled. Oh? Traveler, can I maybe ask you... for advice? Sure, Tanjiro. What's on your mind? Well, I've been receiving... messages... from someone. Has somebody been bullying you, Tanjiro? I'll fight them. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. It can't be her. She didn't know what type of note it was. Don't be so sure. Her tone sounded off. It could have been rehearsed. An intentional misdirect. Whoa. Tricky little vixen. The notes aren't bad. They're actually... so good I can't even put them into words. I think they're... love letters. I've been finding them in my desk recently. This kind of thing has never happened to me before. And I don't know what I should do about it. Well, what do you want to do about it? I want to find out who it is. I want to thank them for their kind words. And give them something in return to make them happy. Is there anyone you're hoping it would be? I hadn't thought about that. The letters give me such a warm feeling in my chest. I'd be happy to reunite with her either way. Doesn't it feel unfair to have a preference? Not necessarily. For example, I'd be happier receiving a note from you than, say, Tengen. But that doesn't mean I dislike him in any way. Think about who you'd rather get stuck under the mistletoe with during the holidays. Mistletoe, huh? I see. Well, in that case, I'd be super happy to receive letters from you, too. Uh, I didn't, uh, I wasn't trying to imply, uh, what I meant to say was, um, oh no. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, Tanjiro. You'll find her. Okay, so I've come up with a plan. Plan for what? What do you mean, for what? Tanjiro's secret admirer. Oh, right. There's a few ways we can approach this. But I think we should start with my first idea for now. I check the dress codes in the morning, so I can keep tabs on where the girls go 
and what time they get here. How's that going to help? Because obviously she'd have to come in early enough to beat everyone else in the class. That way she could ensure nobody would see her planting the note. If, say, someone like you saw her doing it, her little game of cat and mouse would be over. Because you'd blurt out her secret without a second thought. That makes sense, I guess. Unfortunately, that means we have to lie and wait until she leaves another note. It could be days before that happens. So in the meantime, make sure you watch out for incredulous activity. Traveler was acting suspicious earlier. It sure seemed that way. But she wouldn't send notes to Tanjiro. Because she's madly in love with me. Chuitsu, you should really talk to someone about these weird voices in your head telling you stuff that's not true. Ugh. Come on. We've got some investigating to do. We still have to wait until she leaves another note for Tanjiro. But until that happens, I have a special job for you. Psst! Tanjiro! Wah! Uh, Zenitsu, you scared me. Uh, why are you hiding like that? Never mind that. Do you still have the love letters? Yeah. I'm relieved about it, too. I heard this morning that some people's assignments have gone missing. I know. That was me and Inosuke. What? Why? This is why. Ah, uh, the missing assignments! Zenitsu, you- Shh! Keep your voice down! It was necessary. You said you had the letters. Now hand them over. Ah, uh, here. What do you need them for? Sleuthing. What do you mean? I'm searching for a match. That still doesn't answer my questions! Look! Here's one. See? This girl curls her Y's the same way as the one who wrote the notes. You're comparing their handwriting? It's a great way to narrow down the options. Ah, uh, but the way she writes her A's and E's are too slim. So it's not this one. Mark her off the list. You made a list? Yes. Keep up. I already ruled out two girls that were either late or absent on one of the days a note was planted. This is too much. That leaves eight more, I think. I think this one presses too hard. You're right. Great. Seven. Progress. If we play our cards right, we can cut that in half by the end of the day. Then we can stop it. Both of you. Uh-huh. Give those back right now. What are you? I can't condone you all doing this. If you catch her this way, she's going to be embarrassed. Her delicate feelings are on the line in this. How can you take that so lightly? That's exactly why we're being so thorough! This is urgent! We need to find her before the love runs out! I've overheard girls talking about guys they stopped loving after a week or two! Two weeks? That only leaves us a few more days! So what? Eh? Her heart is free to yield to whoever she wants. Whenever she wants. We have no say in it! Whoa. You're an ally to women everywhere, Kentaro. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Manipulating someone like this. Mm. Ugh. I forbid you two to have any more involvement in this. Understood? Uh-huh. Hmm. Fine. I hate yelling at people. Now hand me the assignments. I'm going to give them all back now. Sorry. I forgive you. But let it go, all right? You should be focusing on yourselves. Valentine's Day is coming up. Shouldn't you be looking for your own special someone? Ugh. I'll see you after lunch. Come on, Inosuke. Let's go back to the classroom. How can he just let her go like that? I just don't understand it. He might be right. Maybe we should just drop it. Fine. Anyway, he left in such a rush he only took two of the notes. I still have the last one. Oh. I don't really want to bother him now and get yelled at again. Put it back in his desk, I guess. Lunch is almost over. He'll be back soon. Okay.
Hey. Did you see him come in here? No. Why? There's another note in here. Really? What's it say? Ah! It's a new one! She planted it during lunch this time! It's like she knew we were on to her! How'd she know? She must be a genius! This is it. We've got her. What do you mean? She wrote that she's leaving a present for him under the big cherry tree. This is fate! She wrote a time! What are you doing? I have an idea. Wait. If you take it out of his desk, he won't get to read it. Exactly. I don't get it. Operation Matchmaker has entered its final phase. Scary. You're fine with cutting class, right? Always. Why? Hey, Tanjiro. Hey. I wanted to apologize for before. You don't have to. I'm sorry for losing my temper with you. I want to apologize to Inosuke, too. But I haven't seen him. Did I maybe hurt his feelings? What feelings? Zenitsu! No, no. No. At least not to my knowledge. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hello? Target is in position! What? Already? What's going on? I thought I heard Inosuke's voice. Is something wrong? No, no! Uh, uh, yes! Very wrong! Something is very wrong! Ah, uh, how can I help? Inosuke is beside himself with guilt. Oh no! You have to come to the cherry blossom tree and console him. Right now! But our extracurriculars... Now, Tanjiro! Inosuke, are you okay? I've got her! Uh, mm. uh, let go! What are you doing? Traveler? Traveler? What are you guys doing here? I found her putting something in the tree hall. Ah, uh, let go of her, Inosuke. Somebody tell me what's going on. You have a gift for someone, don't you, Traveler? Uh, how'd you know that? Shit. Did I put the note in your desk by mistake? Wah! She didn't deny it! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Zenitsu, what did you do? I found your love for you. Uh, wait. It's you? Uh, yeah. Let's go now, Chuitsu. But I want to watch. You just get jealous. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. So, those letters... Looks like the cat's out of the bag now, huh? I think... I always knew somehow. How? Well... That warm, fuzzy feeling I got when reading your letters... It's the same one I get when I'm spending time with you. It felt so familiar I'm amazed I didn't realize it sooner. But then again... I've never been known for being the brightest. You're the brightest to me. You're always shining. Casting light everywhere you go. Uh, I'm speechless. Is this that love Zenitsu keeps chasing after? I see the draw now. It's truly incredible. I'm so happy it feels like I'm glowing. Huh? You're happy it's me? Yes. Very much so. I realized, when we were talking in the library, that I didn't want it to be anyone else. So, since we're under the cherry blossom tree, I might as well finally follow my friend's advice. I really like you. And I loved all the beautiful poetic things you wrote for me. You're very special to me. And... If you'll let me, 
I'd love to take you out and make things up to you. After what just happened. <laughs> I'd love to. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> the end.